So apparently I'm having technical difficulties right now, so I gotta make this video extremely short. So anyways, we're just going to jump into it. I have a couple of few gripes with this movie. It's actually one of the highest rated ones that I'm ever going to do, because I don't think there's ever going to be a 10 out of 10. However, uh, if you're going to nitpick the movie, sure there's a couple of things that you can nitpick about the movie, such as some of the audio cues sounding misused or missed out of place, but at least they didn't use the Wilhelm scream. Only thing I'll say is the person who played Miles Morales in this film, uh, he does a good job in one way, but when you see him trying to do the voice during like the additional scenes, um, it, it just doesn't fit because it looks like he's not actually like trying it sounds like he's just talking normally which i know a lot of actors do and that's how they get their roles however to me it felt weird that's all i can say about it being spoiler free in that it does a great introduction to bringing in characters that normally a lot of people aren't accustomed to when they're watching a spider-man film However, there is always going to be a few things here and there that get messed through funnel production and funnel editing, just like Frozen in the Hair Flip. Don't know why I added that in, but anyways, it's there. Uh, so, I'm just going to say this right now. I actually give the film a 9.7. A, audio, B, one of the voice actors, and pretty much C, which is a .1 fraction is there's a lot of stuff that I found that was hard on the eyes at the very start through the flashing colors. I mean, if you get epilepsy, it might not be the greatest thing to watch as there's a lot of changing colors. They do change fast. So I think you should just be aware of that. Jumping into spoiler territory, um, there's a lot of things that are strange about this, such as it doesn't retcon the original Spider-Man trilogy that happened, it actually builds upon it, even though it kills off Peter Parker. Um, the interesting part for that is then they went into the different universes, and they actually showed costumes from those different universes that apparently um, Aunt May went from being like super, super fragile to actually almost being a super... I, hero herself, I guess, if that makes any sense. Kind of interesting. I would definitely watch the film again. However, there's a lot of things that are strange that are definitely way out there. Because they build upon the original trilogy and then they have Aunt May just become like some ultimate ninja warrior over her house or something like that. <laughs> I think it's funny, but a lot of people wouldn't like that, but... I guess it's just selective taste. Uh, there's stuff like that. There's Kingpin. I didn't exactly agree with the way he looks because he kind of looks like his head's like a quarter way down his body and he looks like a hunchback. It's really weird. I can see why they did that because Wilson Fisk has always been known as this big character. But I didn't think they were going to go that far and that edgy with them that quick. Uh, there's a lot of good villains in the film. However, Scorpion, I didn't exactly agree with him being the uh, Darth Maul of this and getting spider legs. I didn't entirely agree with that. However, this is Spider-Man like way in the future past the original trilogy that we've seen. So he's been doing it for quite some time. Miles, on the other hand, is learning how to use his powers. And gets to the point where he's like, I don't even want them. Why do I have them? Why is this happening to me? Which, coincidentally, is kind of why Gwen, <laughs> Gwen is missing part of her hair. But, anyways, uh, that's all I can say because, like I said, i got to keep this under five minutes due to technical difficulties. So, anyways, I hope you're having a fantastic 2019. And if you're not, I hope it gets better for you sooner rather than later. Peace out, and I will see you all in... I don't know what next week is. I think it's either a stream or a video, but anyways, I shall see you there.